Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Sama. Before I show you guys this video, I'm just going to introduce to, for those that may not know who she is, I'm just going to introduce her to you as in I'm going to tell you just to give you guys a bit of an information about uh, of who she is, right? I'm saying this especially for those that may not be Nigerian or some Nigerians that may not know. So we all know about NSAS that happened recently. If you do not know, just Google it. NSAS was a rally a lot of Nigerians took part in uh, to speak up against some of the things our policemen have been doing. So there was a rally and all of that. I personally didn't know this girl until this NSAS rally that happened. So basically when the NSAS rally happened there was this um the rally the main place the rally was at toll gate where they call the lucky toll gate they organized it as a peaceful protest and it was like a stage where um, there was performance and speeches and stuff like that and she happens to be one of those people that streamed it live while it was going on about uh, i shared a video here not too long ago about um, um what really happened at toll gate and how peaceful it was until the police arrived and if you watch that video Video, you will actually see her I'm gonna put the clip here you can see when the uh, police I mean the army sorry before the army arrived and when the army arrived she was the one that was she was there trying to control the crowd and telling them to sit down and all of that I'll add the clip here so you can see her yeah that's her and she was there if I'm not mistaken to the next day she kept on live streaming it so people saw what was going on so that's who she is so recently we got the news going around that she had to run away from Nigeria and she has run to Canada and she has sought asylum uh, for what we've heard it was granted. But there was actually another video that I'm supposed to upload before this one and it's about the organizers. Some organizers of the NSAS rally have been picked up by the Nigerian police, moved them from Lagos all the way to Abuja. There's been so much going on. I think I'll leave that for another video. But anyways, so apparently she's one of those ones that were threatened and and somehow she was able to escape escape that's the word escape you know why I'm, why I'm emphasizing that word escape is the fact that this is supposed to be her country yeah think about the fact that she has to run away from her country escape from her country and she has gone to Canada and I'll add a clip so you can hear this is the last video she made and she emphasized in that video that uh, she was being threatened and now as we speak she's no longer in Nigeria and what is her crime that she was there she had no weapons she took part in a peaceful protest to ask for nigerians to have the rights to walk on the streets of nigeria without being harassed and without being bullied without being exterminated by the police that is supposed to be there to protect our lives that is her crime her name is dj switch good morning i just want to thank everybody for the support for the well wishes and thank you for your prayers. Thank you for joining us in the struggle at the toll gate, for sounding the alarm and for alerting the public. I thank you for witnessing what happened at the toll gate. Most importantly, my brothers and sisters at the toll gate, I've never met a finer set of people in my life I'm sorry I haven't said anything in a couple of days. Um, I didn't realize I'd sustained some injuries and I, I, I had to get treated for that. I especially want to thank a few people who at the risk of their own safety came out to get me as my, my own life was being threatened. My life was being threatened for, for, for speaking up in I, um, thank you, Obi. Thank you, Big N. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you so much. Thank you to Ahis, Breeze, uh, Richard. Thank you, Mr. P. Thank you all for getting me out safely. I don't want to talk too much. I just want to clear a few things that I've been seeing online. To our leaders, I urge you, please, do not minimize the suffering 
of families. Do not insult the grief. Do not insult the grief of Nigerians. Do not insult the intelligence of Nigerians. Do not insult the pain that families are facing. People, people were falling left and right. Yes, there were soldiers there. Another part that people are not really talking about, the police also came. The SARS people were talking about, they also came. Some maybe 40, 45 minutes after the soldiers left. We were tear gassed. Tear gas is it's like it's like it's like pepper, right? It's like it's like cotonou pepper mixed with acid. It's like we were running. <laughs> this this is our what they call it, our coconut hair generation. <laughs> we would run, we would come back. We would run and the only thing we fought with was our flags we would sit on the floor and raise our hands up waving our flags and singing the national anthem that's all we had they put off the lights even if even if there's no power on a good day in that axis there's always light at the toll gate there was no light the lights were off the street lights were off it was pitch black I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, a boy jumped on me and was shouting, cover her, cover her. I didn't even understand why he did that. They shot that boy on my back. I fell and while, they, while the soldiers were trying to pick their shells, we were running around and picking their shells too because we wanted proof. These are some of the shells we picked. These are some of the shells we picked. This one I call my own because it's, it's landed right next to my ear. This one was uh, one we took out from someone's uh, lap. The military, they were there on Nigerian soil, killing Nigerian citizens. The police and the Asars-like people came doing the same thing, aiming and shooting. Aiming, not they were pointing the gun at us and shooting live bullets. Who takes live bullets to protest? Who does that? So uh, to my um, to our leaders, please, I urge you to to please not insult the intelligence of Nigerians and, and the families. Something I, 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 I think about now in hindsight, just I wish we, we hadn't done it, but we carried dead bodies and dropped at the feet of the soldiers so that they could see what they did to us. When I asked the um, unit commander or something, why are you killing us? I wish we didn't do that. I wish we kept the bodies because they ended up throwing the bodies in their van. This was up until the next day, the next morning. Anyway, I, I wanna, I wanna thank uh, a Mr. Ola, who uh, is the man manager of Vodic Hospital, Vodic, Vodic or something. Thank you for, I'm sorry we put you in harm's way, but thank you for letting us into your facility and treating our brave Nigerians. Thank you to Life Point Church for giving us refuge. I also want to plead to the people opening fake accounts with my name, please. It's, it's already hard as it is. People risk their lives to get me out of, of my of, of my place, the place I call my home. Please, stop saying things you don't know. I understand things are hard. I understand things are difficult. This this era of social media, you 
you want to um, get uh, followership that can help you also make some money. I understand. At least copy the truth and put. That's all I'm asking. Please. I didn't. I never said 78 people died. I don't know that. What I do know is as of when I was doing the live, seven people had died. When my phone died, we had now my when my battery died, we had counted about 15 people. I don't know if it was more than that. We had a lot of people that had stray bullet wounds, gunshot wounds, and all that. 78 people, I don't know where you got that information from. I saw another one that said my cousin died. That's not true, please. I will uh, do my best to put my, uh, I'm, I'm not very active on a lot of my pages, but I'll do my best to put all my handles in, um, in the uh, caption so that you know which one is real. So if you open the page, you want to use my name. No, yeah, well, just just say the truth, please. You're putting you're putting more people in trouble, please, please. When you when you face when you when you look at it, when you face when you face the the possibility that you you are going to die, trust me, you you'll be afraid. Please, please. It's easy to type. It's easy to type. I, I get it. But please just do your best to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, please do your best to, to just at least get the factual story. People did die, it wasn't photoshopped. I must, I must be a tech genius to photoshop a live feed. So that's uh, all I want to say. So thank you all. Huh? We must continue to move. We must continue. If we stop... I fear it'll probably be the next 60 years before we talk about this again. We must continue, but we must continue peacefully. I condemn any sort of violence. I condemn the burning of buses and, and people's livelihood. See, let me say something to you. You may not know, but you might be burning your fellow brother or sister's workshop, but one of them that were in that protest as well. You may not know. I know I know we're angry. But the most powerful weapon we have is peace. Let us continue. I can't wait to come back. Because I'm definitely going to continue and be back on the streets peacefully. We need accountability. That is at the heart of this this matter. Accountability. People have to be brought to book. If you don't bring people to book. If you don't bring justice to families, it will continue. We must speak. Do not give up. Don't give up.